Hey everybody, how's it going? What I want to do is this video is going to be actually kind of a recap of all the collaboration cabinets that Arcade 1UP has gone over. Cabinets I'm going to go over aren't going to be kind of like the limited run or the special edition, Dragon's Lair, any of the Marvel vs. Capcom limited edition, any of like the HSN special light up cabinets. None of those kind of cabinets. The ones that I want to kind of talk about are going to be the collaboration cabinets that Arcade 1UP did with other vendors. NBA Jam cabinet that they came out. They worked on that one with Network. Network, if you don't have it, it's NTWRK, an app that you can download on your Apple or your Android device. They call it, I guess, hype, hype beast type of thing. I'm also talking about a few of their cabinets that they haven't actually released, but they've done kind of pictures of. Those cabinets would include special Pac-Man that they did with Champion. You've seen the pictures of it. It's on their actual website. So if you actually go to arcade1up.com and then drop down and go to collaborations, you'll see two notably that are on there and they just don't exist as far as at least that they were ever sold to the public. One is Bait, B-A-I-T. Bait, I thought it was a cool, it's kind of a cool design. It's more of like a digital design that they did uh, with Pac-Man is what they used that one on. The other cabinet that you'll see on the actual website as well is gonna be Champion. So the clothing line, Champion. Uh, they did a Pac-Man cabinet with Champion on there as well too. I've called the bait stores. There's one that's close to me here in Northern California in San Francisco. They said that they've never seen it. Uh, it was never at their shop. There's another bait store down in LA. Same, same thing. There's no word. They haven't seen it, so they don't know what that is. Like the cabinet, I think it's a cool design. It would be nice if we can actually get it. I don't know if it's ever something that even was for sale. The Champion, there's been kind of a few sightings of that one actually. Besides on the actual website, I don't know if you remember or not, but there was a CNET video that came out about a year ago. And on that CNET video, you can actually see it kind of in the background. Now, not only is the champion cabinet in the background, but you'll also see that there's a Def Jam cabinet. It actually looks like it's a Mortal Kombat control deck for the keyboard layout. So it looks like it would have been a fun game to have. I'm assuming there's a limited run that they did made the cabinet special for Def Jam. If you guys are interested in selling it, I'll buy it for sure. A couple other ones that we'll talk about are the ones that actually they did produce for everybody. Notably, and kind of my favorite, which actually got me turned on to a lot of the actual rare cabs that they made. Uh, Steve Aoki has a brand called Dim Mac. Dim Mac is a brand. It's kind of their hype brand that Steve Aoki has. If you don't know who Steve Aoki is, he's a famous DJ, music producer, clothing line person. I'm actually rocking one of their Power Rangers shirts right now because I'm a 80s baby and I grew up with the Power Rangers. If you are a Fast and Furious fan, you know his sister. His sister was in Too Fast, Too Furious, and it was Suki who drove the pink S2000. The Dim Mac cab, they only produced 30 of those very limited run. I would almost say it's Arcade 1UP's kind of revolutionary cab. Included two brand new items that they had never done before. First that they put on there was a USB for your own controller so that we can use any type of controller that you wanted. So it was kind of a nice little touch that they included that. But more notably, that countercade was the first that included a headphone jack. Now, most of the new cabinets that are out now all have that headphone jack in it. So I kind of think it's kind of revolutionized the way that they've set up their actual cabs. It's whether you guys think they did a great job with that headphone jack. If you guys even use that headphone jack, I personally don't use it on any of my games. I just think it's kind of a cool thing that they actually did. Most notably, everybody knows about the Mortal Kombat Supreme cabinet that came out, I think it was about two years ago. There's a limited run of 2,400 cabinets, I wanna say, with that one. So unfortunately, there was a lot of bots that were out there, and most people that are into the Supreme brand um, kind of went nuts and ordered uh, definitely more than one. I was lucky enough to get mine. I did a, about a 10 hour round trip from Northern California up to Oregon and back. Um, but I was able to actually get a Supreme cabinet for 600 bucks. I don't mind paying 600 bucks. The 1350 and the 1750 that they're going for online right now, no way in hell I'll ever pay that. I'll pay a little bit of a markup, but I'm not paying that. For my drive for the 600 bucks plus 180 in gas, that's my markup, I'll take that one. Okay, before any of you think what the hell happened? I got really tired the other night. I looked really tired in the face. My words wasn't coming out too good and all. So redoing some pieces, so you'll see. 
Anyways, the one cool thing that they did with these collab cabs, both the Supreme and the Dimac, and they haven't done it with any of the other collaboration cabs, at least the ones that uh, we could purchase. They both came with custom splash screens and menu screens. The Supreme, you'll notice when you actually go to turn it on, uh, the, the Arcade 1UP screen is still there, but the very next screen, it actually has the Supreme logo, the white with the red lettering. Uh, and then once it goes to the actual game selection screen, you see that uh, everything's kind of like a bloody background, which looks really cool that they did on that one. And with Dim Mac, it's still the same splash screen, but the menu screen, you can actually see it's uh, Steve Aoki's head that's kind of behind the actual games, uh, which is a really cool thing that they did on that one. But they haven't done it with any of the other collaboration cabs, at least the ones that we could purchase. The next collaboration cabinet that they actually ended up coming out with after the actual Dim Mac cabinet was Chinatown Market cabinet, which was on the network app. Chinatown Market, it's a, another hype brand clothing. It's funny, I started looking at some of their stuff that they actually do as far as their clothing items, and it's a lot of smiley faces, it looks like. Uh, at least that's what it looked like to me. I don't know. Whatever. They had some really cool things on there. The cabinet itself, though, just it's a it's an overlay. It's a reskinned uh, NBA jam, so nothing special, no special splash screen, no nothing. Uh, the one thing I do like about it, which I think they did really cool, is uh, on the actual control deck itself, uh, it's got like flames on it. So, uh, really cool. Other than that, it's all the exact same. Um, it didn't even have any of the actual, the, 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 the light up deck. I thought it would have been cool. I almost took, thought about taking the, um, the NBA jam that I got from Best Buy that had the, the, the light up control deck. I uh, almost thought about taking that off and putting it on the Chinatown, but I figured I'll just leave that one alone because that's the way it came. So the next collaboration, Arcade One Up teamed with a company called Clot, another hype brand clothing company. They released it on Network just like they did with Chinatown Market. It's a cool cab. It's basically, it's big blue, but they reskinned it uh, to make it uh, red. It actually looks like the, the, the blue is at burning off and it's red on the underneath. There is no special splash screen. There is no none of that. But the one thing that they actually did do that was really cool that they didn't even put on the app, they didn't do in anywhere in any of the announcements was um, they actually uh, came with a, a clot uh, stool. Um, which was really cool to actually see. It's one of the one stools that I try and keep my kids off of because it, it is a really cool kind of design that they did on that. Totally dig the actual machine. It's Big Blue. It's really hard to screw up the Big Blue machine. Great games, great machine, great job. Now, the next one that they did, um, it's kind of a weird one. The way that I found it, I wasn't even actually looking for it. I didn't even know that it actually existed. What happened is randomly I was on Facebook and it popped up on my screen saying, hey, Michelob is teaming with NBA Jam to bring you a boom shakalaka bar that they were actually doing during the NBA All-Star Week, which was really cool. So I clicked on it and I was like, oh, okay, let me see what it is. And they had some clothing on there, which was a lot of the, like the boom shakalaka clothing that they have. Um, but lo and behold on there, it had two different arcade machines that you can buy. They had an NBA Jam a full size arcade one-up cabinet, and then they had a countercade that was there. I tried to put both inside my cart, and unfortunately, the, the bigger machine, you just couldn't purchase. Uh, I actually ended up reaching out to their customer service and saying, hey, like, I would love to buy one of these, um, but it won't let me click on it, because it didn't say it was sold out, it didn't say any of that, and they finally emailed me back and said, oh, unfortunately, it was all sold out, which is kind of funny, because I don't see anybody that posted it, nobody said anything about the actual big machine, and it looks really cool. The big machine, it's got uh, different siding, uh, it's got Michelob mixed in with like the boom shakalaka writing that's on it. Um, and the control deck is actually kind of a clean, like a, like a wood grain control deck that they actually did with it as well too. Really cool cabinet, really cool design. It just doesn't exist. The only thing that you can see of it is uh, they actually at their bar down in, I think it was in Chicago is where they did it at, um, whatever this, this event place was. Uh, they had a lot of the machines that were actually over there. So there's pictures of the machines. There's pictures of what they look like. Um, I did purchase the Countercade. I already did a video and I did a review on it. The game itself is, is it's NBA Jam. It's hard to mess it up. Uh, what they did mess up on it though is the overlays that they put on it. The overlays, I hate to say it, they're, they're horrible. Um, the sides aren't too bad. Uh, you can definitely tell. I don't know if Arcade One Up just said, oh yeah, well, we'll collab with you and we'll give you guys some because they definitely just put stickers over stickers. You can see on the sides where they just put a sticker over everything, including the, 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 
the screw holes because you can see the indent on all of them, uh, which isn't actually that bad. It's that that's not the bad part. The bad part is, is they put a damn overlay over the factory light up marquee. You can see marquee on the inside bleeds to the outside. Um, and it's not really that much of a difference between the two marquees anyway. So honestly, it's kind of completely unnecessary why they even did that. And it sucks because it's a really cool machine, but you can definitely see the bleed over. Like I said, it sucks. Um, still cool that it's a Michelob and an Arcade 1UP. I, th I think Arcade 1UP had something to say about it. I, I would assume Arcade 1UP would have had some type of something that they, they allowed this to happen. I would assume that they would have marketed the hell out of it somewhere, but there was no marketing anywhere on any of it. But really cool cab idea. I do like it. So Arcade 1UP actually did something cool for these next machines. Uh, they actually teamed up with a, the Gumball 3000. Exotic cars, high-end cars, some classic cars that they actually do. Uh, I'm a car guy, so I totally dig the Gumball 3000 rally. Um, what they did is they actually ended up giving them two different machines, um, uh, special collaboration, uh, special design machines. Black with uh, pink writing, pink lettering, pink designs. On the actual, the, the main kick panel, everybody signed it. Uh, everybody that was part of the actual uh, Gumball 3000. They did an auction. It's like a charity auction that they did. I think I went to either 1700 or 1900 because I figured, hey, whatever, both the machines at the time, okay, NBA Jam was like five, 600 bucks. Uh, at the time, what was it? Oh, Ridge Racer. I'm sorry. I had a look. At the time, Ridge Racer was brand new and I think it was, what, 700 bucks at that time. I figured, okay, I'll pay, uh, you know, five, 600 bucks above just because of the cool factor. That damn thing went for eight grand and it ended up actually uh, auctioning off. Uh, so kudos to whoever actually purchased that. If you're watching this and you got those and you don't want those anymore, let me know. I'd be glad to pick those up. But yeah, really cool machines. I really dig the style of those. Um, definitely wish they had more. The next cab that actually Arcade 1UP did a collaboration with, and it was even cooler because my wife actually found it cool. Uh, they ended up teaming up with uh, Michael Kors. I think it's the LC or Elise or I don't know. It's a Pong head-to-head. -head. Uh, what they did is they made the top completely white. Where the controls are, the controls are white as well too, but on the sides of the machine, um, they've got little MKs all over it. A really cool setup. I totally dig kind of the, the pattern layout. Uh, I more dig that my wife was actually super interested in it. Uh, I actually ended up reaching out to at John D and like, hey, when is this going to be available? Because my wife totally wants to buy it. And he actually did end up reaching back out on whatever social platform it was and said, hey, it's not actually for sale. Unfortunately, it is just for an actual uh, marketing thing that they were doing. And I guess the table was on display down in uh, New York. So you could have actually went to to it and actually been able to play it or at least been able to see it. I don't know if they let anybody touch it. Definitely wouldn't let my badass kids touch it. But really cool machine. I even actually tried reaching out to one of the, uh, the graphics guys to see if they could actually reproduce it because 40 boxes, they've got it for $2.99 right now. So I figured, okay, I'll get it for $2.99. And even if the graphics cost me $200, $250, maybe get some kudos from my wife, maybe get some happy time. I don't know. They didn't reach back out to me. I'm, I'm assuming that graphics can't be done. It is what it is. Really cool machine. I, I wish that one would come out because uh, my wife would really want that and I would Get kudos for that one. The next collaboration, and it's a really cool one, Pizza Hut, they did, I don't know if you guys remember, where they did a, a, a thing where you could actually win, um, win the Pizza Hut Pac-Man. In order to actually do it, you'd have to buy one of their pizzas. Uh, on the box itself, um, it actually had one of AR, uh, Pac-Man, where you can play Pac-Man on it. And that's how they were basing it off of, is whoever had the highest score would actually win the machine. Of course, like an idiot, I think I spent like 50, 60 bucks on that pizza. I didn't win shit. But supposedly somebody won. Nobody's posted it. Uh, nobody's actually posted it anywhere on any of the, the forums or anything. So like I said, I, I, I know it's real. We've seen it. Hell, I think it was in a commercial even as far as win this, but we haven't seen it after that. Um, and it's a really cool Pac-Man. Like I would totally get that Pac-Man because uh, it's Pizza Hut. Like it's really cool. The nostalgia of it. I think it would have been cool if they actually did like a head-to-head -head sit down Pac-Man because that's what we used to play. Uh, back in Pizza Hut when I was 30-ish plus years younger than what I am now. But still, nonetheless, totally dig the cab design. I wish it was something that they would make 
at least, hell, 20, 25, 30 that we could buy. Um, I would totally buy one. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for sitting down during this video. It's a little long, I know. I've had some really cool collaborations over the years. Definitely want to see more, especially now that uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 would be cool to see another kind of uh, collab with that one like they did with uh, Big Blue, uh, Big Red Blue, I should say. And then, let's be real, with NFL Blitz, like, they could do three different collaborations with NBA Jam, like, you can definitely at least do one with NFL Blitz. Um, so definitely hoping for that one to actually come out within the next couple months. Uh, side note, uh, Moat, got your shirt, totally dig it. A couple of my buddies uh, went and hung out with them and they're like, dude, totally dig the shirt, I have to get one. So you might get a couple more sales from some of my buddies. Thanks again guys for watching. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, I do these videos every now and then. I've been doing more of the videos of like, me putting stuff together, putting my room together. Uh, I'm a huge car guy. I've got a 72 Chevelle wagon. I've got a 72 El Camino. Uh, I've got an airbagged minivan. So I do a lot of car videos as well too, but swing on by. I'll have some more videos coming also. Thank you. Appreciate you guys.